Can we offer chocolate muffins to Krishna? My view in this connection is that in the temple we should never offer chocolate. And sannyasis, those who want to be sincere or serious brahmacharis, those who are entering Vanaprastha Ashram, they should give up eating chocolate if they were householders. But as householder and the family there, is there the children are there, and the children are playing maybe not only with devotees, the chocolates are around and they like chocolate, so then if they offer chocolate muffins to the deities at home, so that is not a big issue that can be done. And Krishna understands time, place, circumstance, is better than anybody else. I think it is worse to criticize somebody or to find fault unnecessarily with others. To speak prajalpa, that is even worse than taking some chocolate. I think somebody who is humble and, oh, I'm a fallen, I agree, Hasta, and I like chocolate, so I sometimes I eat chocolate. So that devotee is better situated than a devotee who is trying to be strict. Oh, no, I will never eat chocolate. All these devotees eating chocolate. This is completely maya, criticizing this devotee, that devotee. So that devotee is uh, not in a good situation, position. That is my humble opinion.